What's up guys? My name is Charlie Sanabria and I would like to share something that happened to me last year. You see, I had one of those moments in life where you go, what the hell am I doing with my life? I'm sure a lot of you have had similar moments like that and they usually come with a little bit of an existential crisis that lasts very little, honestly, because we have to go back to work and back to our families and we forget about it and life goes on. We don't have time for such existential nonsense, right? To be honest with you, I think I'll have one of those moments at least every five years until the day I die. But this one was different. It was different because when I came back from what felt like weeks spent in fetal position, I finally came to the realization or finally came to terms with the fact that I am very ignorant. I was 26 years old and the few useful things I knew were either career related or merely circumstantial. And I said, damn, I don't want to live like that. I don't want to live just knowing how to do one job, knowing a whole lot about nothing at all. And at that point I knew I needed to change something. And then the lazy part of me said, bah, don't worry about it, man. Just live your life and be happy. But I didn't buy that this time around because I've come to that conclusion before. But this time I realized that I want just a little more than being happy. I want to be able to influence people. I want to be able to have an impact on my family, on my friends, on my professional community, maybe even strangers. But to do that, I need one thing. I need to know what I'm talking about. I need at least a little bit of wisdom for people to want to listen to what I have to say. Because nobody wants to listen to somebody that doesn't know anything, like me. So I thought deeply about this and I asked myself, well, what do I already know? What kind of knowledge do I already have that I could use to influence other people? And I went to my bookshelf trying to look for some comfort and I got even more depressed because I realized that I barely remember anything about these books. If you ask me about them, I'll say, yeah, I read it. Brave New World is awesome. Did you read it? <laughs> But if I were to be truly honest with myself, all the details and all the useful things that I could have actually used to influence someone else, they're just not there anymore. So even those books that I consider life-changing, but how, how could they be life-changing if I forgot most of their content? Damn, all this time I've been glancing at books, just entertaining myself flipping page after page without really understanding their significance, without trying to use that content to do something useful. So I've decided to stop lying to myself, to stop pretending I know things, to stop pretending I've read, I don't know, 20 books, which is kind of embarrassing anyway. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start over. I'm going to assume I know nothing. And from now on, Every book I get, I will really read it. And I mean really read it, as if, as if my survival depended on it. Well, probably not that bad, but as if I was trying to use that content to influence someone else, as if I was trying to teach someone else that content. You know, because when I have kids, I want to be able to answer their questions whenever, with enough detail for them to get excited about all the knowledge that's out there, for them to get excited about life. But to get to that level of detail, I need a little more than just reading because reading is not enough. I need writing. I need to speak out. I need to get involved. I need, so, and having to publish things online is a perfect excuse to force myself to do it right. So I've created this website, chastnerber.com slash books, in which I will write about all the things I learn from now, all the books I read from now on. And that's my mission. I want to learn as much as I can so I can influence other people later on. But most importantly, I want to retain that knowledge because it's so easy to forget. Now, I'm about to go a little deeper into this. So if you're already tired of listening to me speak and you just want to go ahead and read the content, you can click on any of these links. They will take you to the website directly to the book post of each one of these titles. And uh, yeah, go ahead and click if you want or close the video and go back to your Facebook feed. But for those of you who are sticking around, uh, let me elaborate a little more into what the missions of this website are, because I've already told you the first one is very personal. I want to learn stuff. 
But the second one is I would like to encourage people to read more. Hopefully by showing people a glimpse of the books I read and showing my enthusiasm for what I learn, because I'm really putting a lot of love into this, people can make the conscious decision of, you know what, I think I'm going to stop doing blank and I'm going to start using that time for reading. It's up to you to decide what you want to fill that blank with, but it needs to be a conscious decision. You need to acknowledge what you're sacrificing in order to value what you're gaining. I don't even want people to read the same books I read. They can read whatever they want. But I do want people to read those books, uh, the books that challenge them, the books that teach them, the books that uh, inspire them, and for them to read those books consciously. Now, this word consciously brings me to my third mission of the website, which is for all of those book devourers out there. Because I want them to ask themselves, honestly, am I really retaining all of this stuff I read, or am I just entertaining myself? Is that content readily available in my mind to the point where I can actually use it to come up with something original and something useful? It's not easy, but I believe that people who read this way and those who read the right books are the ones who actually make a difference in the world. Because it's not about reading as much as you can or reading as many books as you can is is about retaining that knowledge and using it to influence those around you. And you don't need quantity for that. You need quality. Now, the fourth mission of the website is actually to entertain those people who read and listen to my stuff, which I think is going to be the biggest challenge, but I'll do my best to keep it simple, short, and interesting without sounding like a smartass, and also trying to approach each book with uh, a curious mentality, a, kind of like a childish mindset. And for every book I read from now on, I will have a short video introducing the book. And every book I read from now on that is worth remembering, I will have a short video introducing the book, a book post, and an audio to that content in case uh, you want to listen instead of reading. So that's it. Please go ahead and click on any of these links. It will take you to the book posts that I've already written. And if you like them, share them and uh, subscribe to me on uh, my email list or my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter at Chasanabria or go directly to the website chasanabria.com slash books to check out the book posts. Peace.